guys what's up it's your girl Cameron, and i'm back with another episode of married to medicine la season two episode two and this is a review so if you're new here make sure you subscribe down below to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when i post new content and follow me on instagram and twitter at camera music tv now very important Make sure you comment down below what you thought about this week's episode and what you think about my review. Because I be saying stuff and I be needing to know like how y'all feel about this. Like what do y'all think? Like let's get into some dialogue though. Alright. So we pick up where we left off last week of this altercation. Okay. 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 You want, you want your shine. Okay. Um... This altercation between, well not altercation, just like this tense conversation between Britain and Quad. And Quad's doing more of that thing again, getting on my nerves. I'm like, Quad, you, you're trying to explain, but you're just wrong. You're just wrong. And you were continuously wrong in this episode, bruh. Like, ugh, but we'll get to that later. Okay, Imani and Jasmine eventually do the adult thing and separate themselves to go have a conversation so that they can move past this petty mess. Um, I think that Imani apologizes again. She explains that she's not really this open person. You know, she explains the relationship with her dad and how she's the only child and she don't let people in like that, which is, you know, um, when you understand your why and the psychology be behind the psych the psychology B B B <laughs> the psychology behind why you do what you do and how you do, it's so powerful, right? So Dr. Imani's explaining that. So now you can better know why I come at you like that. How to come at me. Because if you don't understand that, then you're gonna hold stuff against me with no context, right? So she lets her know that, fine. So um, Heavenly comes up, being messy. Um, they go back into the party, they have a good time. My question is this, are they trying to force a relationship? Because Jasmine and Imani just might not be each other's, you know, type of tea. They just might not blend, like you know, like Eva and Kenya, or you know, they just might not blend like that. Like y'all don't have to force it. We could just be in the same room. Hi, how are you? And that's it. And I feel like that's why I like Dr. Imani because she just be on that. She don't even be thinking about the bad blood, just like Britain's party. Okay, before we get into Britain's party later on, we're gonna talk about Shanique and Kendra. Okay, Shanique is still juggling everything just like last year. The job, the kids, you know, being a doting housewife for her husband. And, you know, the show, obviously, and looking good and whatever else. Um, okay, so I don't know if, I don't want to go too, too hard on Robert because I always have to think about what was agreed upon when they first got in this marriage. Did you tell Robert that you wanted to be this housewife and you know um you know after he got out of school then you would stop working and then you know it just depends on what y'all said but i also believe that things change okay so even though you make these arrangements things change okay but the reason why i'm saying that is he got such a problem with you know her in this job and she's juggling everything and he's clearly saying like when I was in school, like I wasn't doing nothing but studying and doing my work. She took care of the kids. She cooked, she cleaned, she worked, she put me, she paid, she did all this stuff. And it's just like my brother. So you hear all that and you can't pull in your weight when she trying to take on a new venture and your kids are, they like, they can feed themselves. So as I'm listening, I'm like, okay, is Shanique, have they developed a unit to wear she doesn't know how to say she wants to change what the initial plans were because that's a thing like in a marriage if you say something from the beginning and then you change your mind you have to in a relationship you have to give people that space right but they may not have that understanding so that's very clear to me when she's running around trying to get ready to leave for work and he's asking for eggs and she already got to feed the kids i'm like we're not making eggs 
like granola bars and like a quick oatmeal that you can put in we're not doing all that unless you gonna go down there because you don't have hair to do you don't get the kids right i mean you brushed his hair okay but okay come on come on so like i said i don't want to give him too much of a hard time if that's the dynamic that they agreed on kendra we find out is vietnamese and black she calls herself blasian and her husband is Chinese and Canadian, I believe. He put that in. But they're unpacking boxes. We get, we're starting to get a little bit more context about who she is, what she is. She's OBGYN. And she just had this baby five months ago. Now, I want it to be clear that her weight is not a problem. Her size, her shape is not a problem. Child, I'm not the smallest at all. What I have a problem with is like her stomach just out like there were other ways to have her stomach out and that is not what was appealing for her and she's a very pretty girl so i'm gonna just say that just for clarification but we get a peek more into that okay so we are gearing up for this party for britain mac is um coordinating and getting together Britain is still having this issue of her son is his name Miney who is who wants to sleep with his mom in their bed okay so Mac sleeps down the hall now I don't know if this is it because they have not said it but Miney might be what six or seven might be between six seven or eight right I don't think he's that much older but Britain has been gone She's also military, so, and she's officer military, so she's been, and she's Marines, I believe, so she probably deployed a lot. He's probably had to deal with his mom being gone a lot, right, or dad being gone, and, you know, the things that you deal with when you're in a military household. So, it's not surprising to me that he wants to sleep with his mom. Um, because he may not understand that mom is here to stay. He's probably waiting on her to have to leave again, right? What I find weird is that Brittany wouldn't just have the conversation with her son to just be like, mommy is here to stay. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Maybe she hasn't identified it yet. Maybe she doesn't understand what it is. Maybe she's flattered by it. Like, because he is so cute, like with these little curls, right? And maybe she's just like, well, it's fine. You know, we'll just let him do it because, you know, I miss my babies too. And maybe it's just not that big. But I really feel like there's something there with you know when your mom is military and they're gone a lot like you that's a void you know and when they come back then you're always thinking that they're gonna leave mom or dad so um i just wonder if that's it i don't know if she's gotten too comfortable in this marriage like y'all was saying on black twitter i think they're gonna be fine because you can very much see the love but they have been long distance so they have to come back to each other i'm talking about mac and britain they have to figure it out they have to Bring it back. Y'all know marriage goes in cycles, like Auntie Rocks be saying, right? So then they might not be on right now. I want to tell Heavenly, I learned that if you put a little uh, hairspray on the bottom of your new shoes, your stilettos, they'll stick to the, the tie a little bit better so you won't be slipping like that and looking a mess and having to take your shoes off at this party. Out of line. Okay, next. Um, I don't know, understand. Actually, I'm not going to say I don't understand because I do understand. I do understand the rest of the girls find out about Imani and Phil being being um, separated right now like separated by distance not broken up in the relationship and they can't understand it Jasmine's ready to give her a hard time because everybody gives her a hard time about her husband and it just starts this full gossip ring and we are now we are the race the horses are off right so I'm listening and I'm like, I mean, this is, I mean, Jasmine, you set a truce with Imani. And then right when you get to the next, to Britain's event, when you hug her, oh, is this a real hug? It's just like, girl, we moved past it twice now. We've had conversations where, he, where we have decided to move past it and you keep reigniting it. Why? Because you need a storyline. I don't know. You keep reigniting it, right? So, um, I want y'all to take notice of that. Okay. So she's having to defend why her husband's where he's at, why, you know, they're doing this and how they function as individuals and everything doesn't have to be so much. We, 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 
and until I knew the why I was not feeling her y'all know last week I was like why is he there what is going on that heavenly asking about a ring and they saying they don't wear rings but you can tell that Dr. Imani's not your traditional wife okay she's very like about like self and self-care and and what do you want to do for you the person and you your business and T together we form one great entity but we also exist on our own in our own lanes and i love that but for a show like this it's a lot for these women to understand because these women are doting housewives shanique and jasmine right um you know britain has a, a less traditional or, or untraditional situation as well but most women unless you're like millennial or later on we're just now getting to a place where you know this traditional way of doing things is actually being called out and people are just not doing that anymore right so when i see these women talking about this i'm just like bruh this is this is what we're doing this is what we're doing okay okay so they're spreading it all out they're talking about it all at britain's party it's all these people talking talk 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 talking you know contessa brings um hold on yeah contessa brings britain in they do the surprise they have a good time britain looks good with a ponytail they have their nice speeches blah de, blah de, blah blah great time okay so the women are about to leave the women from atlanta are headed back Jasmine is back to the hosting ability. She got the brunch popping off. She got the grits and stuff. And she reminds us that she don't eat that stuff. That's why she got that body. And I was like, girl, you making me hungry. Okay. Um, but Latoya leaves early. They have this brunch. Now, Quad uses this time to give Jasmine some advice about her place. When you stayed there for, I just was like, I, Quad is just, she's not my cup of tea, I guess. Because, I mean, the, the, the courage, or maybe courage is not the word, the confidence that you have to be able to say these things to somebody who just put you up for free. It just, it's just kind of like, wow, wow, like you really said that. You really, I mean, and granted, she was asking for advice and Shanique tried to like smooth it over, but it also was like, girl i asked you with the intention of you saying everything was great because i went out of my way and like was breaking a sweat to make sure y'all had a good time i didn't think he was really gonna say that we needed flat irons and waste bas baskets and all this other stuff girl okay so we get into this conversation about imani and um they want to better understand her let me see was there anything really there you know heavenly saying that she thought jasmine was dumb because she's pretty just more ignorant more ignorant um they dive into imani's i'm fine you know you have those people where i'm fine really doesn't mean that they're fine um yeah but we're kind of too grown to be like picking apart like how you really feel and i feel like dr imani will share her true feelings with the right one she shares her true feelings with britain she don't feel the need to share it with y'all. That's all that is. Like, there are layers to her. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, so lastly, it is Imani and Britain. They are eating. And um, they Imani is talking about, or Dr. Imani, sorry, Dr. Britain. Dr. Imani is celebrating the fact that her and her husband, Phil, are featured in Essence. She's like number 52 in the Woke 100 for 2019. Phil is in there uh, for his dispensary that he's opened up in Oklahoma. And side note, did I did not know that weed was legal in Oklahoma. That he said, maybe it's a dispensary for CBD. I don't know. But she's talking about that. And now, since the article came out, she can talk about it, right? I was so annoyed for her because as she's listening to the gossip who Dr. Britton is a great friend because she brings it back to her. I was just like, Jasmine is trying to say that this is the same thing about people being upset about her not bringing up her husband. We know who Phil is. We've seen him. Dr. Imani has, you know, opened up on the show. So it's not the same, honey. It's not the same. The next thing is... I don't know if Dr. Imani said, I can't say because of, you know, we're waiting on things to go through. I don't know, but they try to develop like this whole other reason. And I always, 
I'm not gonna say I always. I have learned that if you two are solid and you're blocking out outside influences, say what you need to say to your girls, to your friends and everything. And then when, you know, when you two are ready, then you say. And I feel like that's what I like about Dr. Imani. She was not going to fold. She was not going to say stuff just to satisfy this want for information that you guys want or need to validate whatever it is that you feel like is going on with me and my husband. When we, the time that we have agreed, agreed upon, that's when I'll say something. And I like that. I like that. I feel like there was so much more going on, but I guess not. I guess not. Are y'all watching Married to Medicine LA? What are you thinking? Comment down below. I'm Camaray. This is Camaray Music TV. I enjoyed the show. I'll be back to review again next week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!